Hello my friends, William Poloniak here from Whole Health Foundation. Today I'm going to make a citrus blend with fruit that's fallen off my trees. Here in California when we have a Santa Ana condition very often fruit will fall from the tree. So I have two grapefruits, about 14 oranges and one lemon. Let's take a look at the next step. So let's start by peeling all of the citrus. Get as much of that rind off as I can. Now here's the last of my oranges. And we'll just peel all the rind off and discard that. And then we'll fold all the citrus into cloths. But we're going to use bamboo liners because fruit sticks to the cloth. Now after peeling this lemon, I found out that it's actually rotten inside, so I'm going to discard that. And let's see if we've got all of these. Yes, we'll throw this rind away, and then we'll press juice out of the peeled citrus. Now I've transferred all of my peeled citrus into this bowl, and I'm going to use the folding tray to fold, or actually to place the citrus in the cloths, but in each cloth, because it's fruit, I'm going to line it with a bamboo liner. Bamboo liners are organically made by Whole Health Foundation. We are the original people that developed this liner. We've got a couple of copycat people out there, but what we'll do now is we'll put three or four of these small fruits into a cloth and press them and fold the bamboo over the citrus like so in both directions and then the cloth over the bamboo now this might be too thick but let's try putting two at once in there so we'll open this up And again, another bamboo liner. Now, let's put four of these smaller fruits in here. Now, let's see, can we get two of these in there? No, I think I doubt it. We'll have to just put one in at a time. All the way back, back it up. And once I get juiceful, I'll advance that all the way. Droplets, we'll back that off. Put another couple of fruits in here, actually, four fruits inside the cloth, all the way back, back it off a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is unfold the bamboo liner and reuse it. I'm going to unfold this bamboo liner and put in some more fruit. all the way. All the way back, back it off, and as before we'll unfold this bamboo liner and put the rest of my citrus in here. And we've got two regular grapefruits and one orange and fold the bamboo liner over that just as before as tight a package as I can make the tighter the better this is almost too many fruits in there but we'll go ahead with it anyway no it's not going to work well, that's it all the way and I'm going to take one of these citrus out of here and we'll press only two because it was too tight of a package. Now that's much better. Kind of an awkward size package. And we'll put that in the press again. All the way back, back it off and we'll open this up and put that last citrus in there. And in the center. Now 
what I'm going to do with this spent pulp is I'm going to take this bamboo and the pulp and form it into a tight ball and press it again and see if we can get any more juice out of this. Nice tight package. And we'll fold that over, but my folding technique is going to be slightly different. I'm going to fold it under as many times as I can in both directions. Turn that upside down, flatten it, and do the same for this one. Take my whole bamboo liner and the citrus and form it into a tight ball. And again, the folding technique is slightly different. We're folding this under. All the way back, back it off a little bit, make sure it's on the tray properly. Now from the first packet, we're getting a little over two ounces, almost three ounces. And we'll back that off and put in the second package. I'll remove the first packet, put in the second packet, right in the center, very important, in the center, left to right, center, front to back, all the way back, back it off, turn on the machine. And from the first packet, we've got almost three ounces. Let's see how much we can get from this one. And I'll advance that all the way. Yeah, it's very much like syrup. There's a little over four ounces. Actually, a little more than 10%. Because when we tilt that tray, we're getting about, it looks like about 15%, six ounces. Now my next step is to press the water out of the cloths, but especially for citrus, it's very important to clean this upper plate. You don't want any sticky juice residue. Well, it's almost hard to see that the citrus is on there, but let's clean the side plate as well, and the upper plate. And then we'll press the water out of these cloths, put them back in the freezer, all the way back. And I'm using a container to catch the water this time. And once we get all the water out, we'll turn off the machine and put these two cloths back in the freezer. The reason we keep them in the freezer is germs cannot grow in the freezer, nor can airborne contaminants. Now it looks like we're going to get three bottles or close to three bottles of juice from this pressing. Almost three bottles. Now we got 40 ounces of juice. That's 15 percent more than we would have had we not repressed the already uh, spent pulp. Now with this half bottle I'm going to add 50 percent water and I want to do a taste test with pure juice and 50 percent water. Normally, citrus juice is very, very concentrated. So let's do a taste test with this. Now here we have a citrus blend. Let's taste it. Oh, delicious. Very concentrated. So let me drink this and then I'm going to test the 50% uh, with water. Now this is citrus. 50% with water. Well, personally, I prefer the 50% with water, but you can make your own choice. Well, I hope you like what you've seen, my friends, and if you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to call me, my phone number is 760 753-0321. My email address is developtrust at cox.net and my webpage is wholehealthfound.com. See you in the next video.